All right, guys. So next day, um, Brittany had the doctor come in this morning. There she is. Um, so they do think it's her gallbladder. They can't do any more tests because the only thing they have left is the radioactive flu test, which they don't want to do because she's pregnant. Um, all right, guys. Sorry about that. The nurse came in. We don't want to video people that don't know we're videoing, and we don't want to like invade in there. Like things. So there's Brittany. Hey. They bring her some. She always takes us from she Hi, don't. Okay. I'll talk because Josh was asleep when the doctor came in this morning. So he's just hearing it from. He's just telling you what I told him. Which what you're about to tell him. So. I got my wedding ring, by the way, because it drives me nuts. Um. Okay. So they think that it's gallbladder d um, disease of course which is what a lot of pregnant women get when they are pregnant um, it can resolve after pregnancy or it can be a problem to where that needs to be taken out my gallbladder can be taken out while I'm pregnant liposcopically um, however we don't want to do that so he wants me to monitor it with a low-fat diet yay um and if needed some pain medication but i probably won't take that because i don't take a lot of pain medication like i you know y'all i take tylenol if i'm really feeling crappy i'll take a benadryl and that usually does the trick for me so um my floor doctor came in i um my urine looked like I had a UTI, but I'm not showing any symptoms of a UTI. So he thinks I'm pretty much in the clear. He checked, I know, I didn't even know I had a UTI. Um, he checked me out, um, like where I'm having pain and stuff, just to double check everything. Um, I guess Josh is complaining. He's very grouchy this morning. Um, the gastroenterologist is going to see me this afternoon. The doctor will be back to see me um, around lunch or so. Baby looks good though. Yep. They had, the, they had the baby monitor thing on her, and he don't like it. So when they put it on there, he like kicks it because it it doesn't. He doesn't care. Well, because it's like a monitor, and it's like pressed down into my like pressed onto my stomach, and he doesn't like that. And so he like plays with it the entire time. I'm it's cold. really funny. You are cold. Oh my I told gosh. You it's so cold in here, Brittany. She's wrapped up in like 20 blankets over here. <laughs> so I know she's cold. I have. It's like 60 degrees in this room. Watch your mouth. Freaking room. Except freaking. Anyways. So, yeah. We'll let you guys know. I don't know if I'm staying another night or not. We won't know until later. We won't know until later, until after the. Yeah, but my nurse is going to get me, um, like a breakfast snack because I missed breakfast this morning because I couldn't have bacon, eggs, grits, and biscuit because that's not low fat. And my mom's coming to stay with you later. Yeah, and, uh, oh, my mother-in-law, Josh's mom will be here to stay with me, um, if Josh goes to work. She so. said, I've already got a bag packed yeah. with me. <laughs> She's ready. She packed her bag. She had no idea what we were doing, but she came prepared. So, we will update you guys. And let you know, baby is fine. He's staying where he's staying in my tummy. He's For not. Now. He's not coming home right now. So. Do it two and a half months though. So. Okay, guys. So a lot of stuff has happened today, and I don't know where Josh left off. Um, except like last night. I don't know what he filmed this morning. Um, but I have seen several doctors. But I'm starving right now because I ate lunch, and that they were going to send me home because there was really nothing else that they could do for me. Uh, but then the GI doctor decided that they did want to do an ultrasound of everything in there because like I'm having pain right underneath my right breast. And she says that that is a little too high for it to be my gallbladder. And then I'm having it in my back as well. Hopefully you guys, we are just back to its muscular skeletal and you know, I'm just a tiny mommy, and he's a big baby. So, I am completely and totally okay with that. I had some pretty bad pain after I ate lunch. It was a bland grilled chicken, um, grit carrots lunch. 
uh, had mashed potatoes, but I had gravy on it, and I didn't like it, so I didn't eat it, um, and then water, and I had pain after that as well, tried to sleep through it, couldn't sleep through it, so I got some Tylenol, I do have the option to take a stronger pain med, um, but if I can hold off on that, then I'm gonna try my best to do that, I just don't, I don't like taking medicine, so, it kind of took the pain away a little bit. I mean, it's Tylenol, so um, the pain is back. It's, I'm probably about at a seven, which is when I usually ask for some medicine. And yeah, I'm gonna eat my I'm gonna eat my dinner. I don't know if I'm going home tonight or not. I'll try to keep you guys updated. I'm waiting for the radiologist to come tell me what they saw, and hopefully we can get some more information. So, thanks, guys. He won't even stay on the monitor. We're gonna have to sweep the little baby. Well, this sweet little baby's being a hellion right now. He won't cooperate. See if he'll kick he it again. He doesn't like to be bothered. Yeah, he does not like it at all. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm back home in my bed, about to eat some Chick-fil-A. Um, this morning the doctor came in and spoke with me and my ultrasound came back clear with all of my organs are doing what they're supposed to be doing and nothing looks abnormal. Um, so, he wanted me to eat breakfast and see how I did. Um, I was in pain last night. I got a nurse to give me a Tylenol on it. The Tylenol has been helping. So, I have stayed away from taking um, the Percocet that I'm allowed to take. Because I don't want to take a narcotic while pregnant. Even if it is okay. Whatever. Anyways. So, um, and I've been in pain since this morning. Kind of on and off. Right now it's pretty bad. There's Jack. Hey buddy. He just realized I'm home. Um, <laughs> and, I mean, they released me, basically, they think that since everything came back normal, they don't think it's my gallbladder, which is a great thing, because I don't want to have to have my gallbladder removed in the future, or even during pregnancy, and I don't want to have to deal with that. So, they do think that it's musculoskeletal, um, which is fine if, you know, basically it's, I'm a tiny, tiny baby. I mean, I'm a tiny, tiny human, and I have a big baby, and he's just, you know, growing and moving and, you know, whatever. My nurse said that, you know, I should definitely get a belly band and maybe do some yoga or something to kind of help stretch, stretch out this side, because it could be that this side is just so tight that I'm just having more, like, more difficulty I guess, expanding and everything. So, yeah, they ha they also gave me a medication for some acid reflux. Um, I don't think I'm having that, really. I've had it once, maybe, and if I sit up and kind of drink some water, it kind of helps. So, I don't know. I'll probably just continue taking, like, Tylenol. I've got the heating pad on me because my back's hurting um, pretty bad. So, yeah. So, I mean, you know, I'm home. Baby's okay. Mommy's okay. We're doing good. Um, didn't know what was going on at first, but I think we figured it out. Um, teeny tiny. And apparently I'm a wimp because I can't handle this pain. So I don't know how I'm going to have, I don't know how I'm going to go through labor without an epidural, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thanks for watching and sending all your love and your prayers and everything. Uh, remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks.